CataractCoach.com. White cataract decompression. Using a needle to decompress this into mess and cataract. Let's learn the technique. So going in here, there's the eye. We're going to show you at three times speed so we can get through this. And we'll make our incision here. Just a paracentesis, putting the tripan blue dye inside the eye. There it goes. Letting it stain. Be patient at this step. Give it 30 seconds to stain. That'll really make a big difference here. So now we can dilute that down with our anesthetic. After we're convinced that it's got a nice good stain, there it is. And now let me show you how we filled out viscoelastic. So let's go back to normal speed. Putting on our dispersive viscoelastic, getting a good fluid wave to come across. There's the viscoelastic going in. Now tap the center lens nucleus. Tap the capsule, and you can see how pressurized is it. This one's moderately pressured, so I inject more viscoelastic. I want the AC pressure at about 50, nice and firm right now. Don't make the main incision yet. With the IOP at about 50, the pressure in the anterior chamber is higher than it is within the capsule bag. So now going in with the needle on a 3cc syringe, bevel down, 27 gauge needle, Poke right in the center of the lens capsule and aspirate immediately. Aspirate, 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 aspirate. And that decompresses the bag. Use the tip of that needle, rock the nucleus around a little bit more, aspirate more. There it is. There's the fluid that we aspirated out of the capsule bag. Looks great. So now we've decompressed that bag. We've showed you in previous videos how to rock that nucleus. Let's make that main incision here. So there's the diamond keratome being used to create about a 2.2 millimeter wide incision. We can get our caps rexus forceps now and create what we want, a nice round centered five millimeter capsule rexus. So grabbing that lens capsule here. And now at this point, there's still a small risk of run out. So we gotta be very careful, be on the lookout for that. But most of the fluid that was causing that intumescent intro and ticket pressure has been removed. So you can see we're having to pull the nuke, the capsule rexus in a little bit, and it's not quite our perfect rexus that you're used to seeing from me, and that's still because there is that posterior pressure. No need for high direct action, don't worry. Let's just go in there, aspirate a little bit, use that chopper, let's split this nucleus up. And the reason you don't have to high dissect is because remember, the intumescent fluid is liquefied lens cortex. The lens cortex is already liquefied. That's your hydrodissection. So nucleus is removed very quickly. You'll see there'll be very little cortex left in the capsule bag. Looks pretty darn clean. So let's show you the rest of the case here. We'll keep it at three times speed. Now we'll do a little bit of capsule cleanup, but there's really not much to remove here. So you can polish the underside of the anterior capsule rim, but Remember, first, do no harm here. This patient started off with light perception, maybe hand motion vision, and you're gonna give this patient amazing vision. Here comes the lens, putting it right there inside the capsule or bag, and we're going to get this rotated and have the lens in appropriate position. That looks great. And if you look carefully enough, look at that lens design. This is a trifocal eye well design. So this patient's gonna have an incredible transformation going from hand motion vision, or maybe that's wind perception as the hand creates air currents in front of the eye, but to go to amazing vision the next day and a wide range of vision with near, intermediate, and far all corrected. So we'll get that lens set it up in that central zone. We want that central um, optical zone of this diffractive lens right there in that patient's visual axis using those Purkinje images to line it up and help us. Little bit of triumph still going inside the eye at the end of the case. And then we'll put also a small aliquot of moxifloxacin as an antibiotic. And if you're a resident, we've got an entire section for you on our teaching website. You gotta go to cataractcoach.com. You may have to leave the YouTube app for a moment, but on that website, you'll find a host of really great learning resources.